Hi, and welcome to this week's video. My name is Joni Creed. Uh, as we are talking about the fundamentalist uh, modernist controversy, I wanted to talk to you about the Scopes trial. On July 10th, 1925, uh, a uh, young teacher went on trial. His name was John Thomas Scopes. Um, and he was accused of the crime of expounding in school uh, the Dar Darwin Darwin's theory of evolution. Uh, that was stated by Mr. Boyce um, Rensberger in the New York Times. Uh, today, uh, the Scopes trial remains one of the most famous and most controversial um, trials in America. It uh, also took place over the course of 12 days. So uh, why was it important? Why are, why are we still talking about the Scopes trial? Well, because it had to do with uh, science versus uh, religion. Uh, Dr. David Minton explains that Scopes had uh, no uh, background in science and he had a little interest in um, understanding evolution. Still, he was arrested for um, teaching the evolution of uh, the origin of man in, in a biology class that he was uh, substituting for. He was charged with, with teaching that we are descended from a lower order of animals. And this is contrary to the Bible's teaching of the divine origin of man. Um, an article from the Evening Star dated July 18, 1925 has claimed that Mr. Bryan has taken a position that any man who does not believe that, um, the Bible in its most literal form um, is an agnostic or an infidel. And it, it claimed that uh, Judge Ralston, who was on the case, had agreed with that. According to Russell Owen, who wrote on the trial, states that uh, the case against Scoped was not accidental, that it was uh, the teaching of evolution um, that had been prohibited. Uh, William Jennings Bryan, he was the leader of the Democratic Party at that time. Uh, he also served as Secretary of State under Woodrow Wilson. Uh, he was a conservative Christian, but he had a lot of liberal uh, political views and he was put on this uh, case of religion uh, versus evolution. In his, bio in his biography, he states that uh, through the Scopes trial, his objective was to establish the right taxpayers to control what's taught in their schools and to draw a line uh, between um, teaching evolution as fact and teaching evolution as theory. The American Civil Liberties Union, or the ACLU, um, had, a, had a part to play in this as well. The anti-evolution bills that forbade public schools from teaching evolution of man didn't sit well with the ACLU. And so they took on the case and put their own guy um, on, on the case. His name was Clarence Darrow. He was a, success, a, a successful criminal uh, defense attorney who had taken on many um, impossible cases. And in his autobiography, he revealed that um, he said, my object and my only object was to focus the attention of the country on the program of Mr. Bryan, um, William Jennings Bryan, and other fundamentalists in America. So on the Scopes trial, there were two big legal issues going on. The first was, did John Scopes violate the Butler Act? And the Butler Act was put into effect by John Washington Butler, uh, stating that the evolution of man uh, could not contradict the, the biblical teaching of um, the, the origin of man. And that was in effect by the Tennessee legislature. Uh, Kenneth Wise states in his article on the trial uh, that uh, the Butler Act found it unlawful for any teacher in any public school to, um, to teach uh, any theory that denies the divine creation of man as taught in the Bible. And the second issue was regardless of Scopes' guilt or innocent innocence, should evolution be taught as fact in public schools? And so these were the burning questions. 
and this trial put evolutionists and fundamentalists on their heads and put, pit, they were pitted against each other and it was like a circus so uh, it was kind of called the monkey trial we can see why it was called the monkey trial uh, in the end of all this um, Scopes was found guilty um, of violating the Butler Act and uh, had to pay a hundred dollar fine he was eventually acquitted uh, due to a technicality and in 1967 the Butler Act was repealed and the controversy was finally laid, laid to rest. Nearly a hundred years later it still remains one of the most famous and most controversial cases in America.